Yo, what's up guys, Patrick here, welcome back. And this question, another question dealing with symmetry, we gotta state whether this function, x squared times absolute value x, is odd, even, or neither. Now in the previous example, we dealt with x, absolute value x, and we figured out that that function was odd, showed it graphically as well, so I'm gonna follow the exact same steps with this function. So if you didn't watch that example, highly recommend you do before watching this one. This one's going to be a little bit more complex, but same process is going to apply. So we got f of x equals x squared absolute value x. We got to see what's happening with f of negative x. If f of negative x equals f of x, it's even. If it's equal to negative f of x, it's odd. And then if it's neither of those, well, then it's just neither. So plug in negative x here, so we'll have negative x squared times the absolute value of negative x, like that. Negative x squared, we know that that's positive x squared, right? Negative x to the power of any even exponent is just going to end up being x to the even exponent. And then as we showed in the previous example, this is just equal to that, right? Because we can rewrite this as absolute value negative one times absolute value of x. Absolute value negative one is just positive one. And then we end up with absolute value x, which is just absolute value x. So this is equal to that. And notice we end up with the original function, f of x. So f of negative x equals f of x because we got this result it means f of x is even. Okay, now if we show this, um, f of x equals, um, let's say that we have absolute value x, sorry. Kind of lost my train of thought there. Now, by the way, depending on your teacher, on your professor, you may not have to know at this point yet how to graph this, okay? But you will have to know how to do the algebra. So if you don't have to know how to graph this, don't worry about what I'm going to do here, right? If it's going to confuse you a bit, if you haven't covered it yet. But uh, if you're doing symmetry in your class, checking whether functions are odd, even, or neither, then you do have to know how to do this portion here. But in case you are, graphing this, knowing you have to know how to graph this, might as well show you how it looks visually as well. So first off, absolute value x, we can change that to a piecewise function where x, uh, this is going to equal x when x is greater than or equal to zero, or it's going to be negative x when x is negative. Okay, so applying that here on this function, if we add this x squared, well, we're going to add an x squared here. Then we're going to add an x squared there as well. So this is going to end up being x to the power of 3 when x is greater than or equal to 0 and negative x to the power of 3 when x is less than 0, like that. Right? This function ends up being that piecewise function there. So if we graph this, First off, how does x to the power of 3 look? Let's just look at this piece here. It looks like that. But notice it's x to the power of 3 when x is greater than or equal to 0, so only that portion. So this portion we would ignore. Okay, now how does negative x to the power of 3 look like? Well, it's just x to the power of 3 reflected in the y-axis or in the x-axis. So the way that's going to look is it's going to be like this, right? This is negative x to the 3, but notice it's only negative x to the 3 for this function when x is less than 0. So we would only look at that portion. And so that portion would go here. Okay, so this ends up looking almost like a parabola, right? It has that kind of shape but it's not the same thing. Like if you take this on decimals, graph it, and then you graph x squared, they're gonna be different graphs. They're gonna have the same shape, but they're gonna be different graphs. Um, so from here, this is the graph for this. 
notice that it's symmetrical about the y-axis. It has axis symmetry. If I take this and reflect it in the y-axis, I would end up with that or vice versa. So we can visually see that this function is even as well.